Hello everyone, this is just a quick demonstration on how to recover a Word document that has broken. Now here is our example file. I'll just uh, open it to show you the type of error that we're talking about here. So double click, open Word 2010. This file is broken. It can't be opened because there are problems with the contents. Details, XML data is invalid. Uh, so that looks pretty bad. So let's click OK. Now Word saying it can magically recover the document, so that sounds good. We'll just go yes. Uh, same error. But I think that's a diff slightly different error. Click OK again. Now we just get a blank file, an empty file, so nothing happening there. That's not going to recover automatically. This is using Word uh, SP1 2010. So all we do is we take this file, we change it to a zip just by renaming. Now we unzip it to a folder. And you can see that the Word document actually breaks down into a number of components. The file that we're interested in is this document.xml, which is what is broken. So the fix here is we open Visual Studio Community 2015. And I'm just going to use it as an XML editor. Um, there's possibly other editors that might work. It's just that this one, I happen to have found a technique that does recover the file. So here is our XML. And when we scroll through it, we can see it's not formatted as it normally is in XML in Visual Studio. So you can see there's a big problem with this file. So what we need to do here is select the first closing tag on the first line of XML, which is actually line two, the first um, line of the main XML. <clears throat> so to do that, we do Control F, select the, enter the closing tag, close the find box, and then we need to replace that closing tag. Um, I'll show you why in a second, but it's shift and full stop for the greater than sign on the Windows, normal Windows keyboard that is. So we do that. And the document magically formats itself. That's a trick of using Visual Studio. It does these magic things. There's possibly another way to format that XML document, but just by loading it, it will not just format it because it's it was in a broken state. So now we use the error list. To get the error list, if you don't have it visible, is you go view. Uh, and then error list you'll see there, you won't see it on this recording. And then down the bottom you see this error list. So we got tag was not closed as the first error. So what we need to do is close up some of these internal things here. And we can see just looking at the column following down that we've got WP closes up at WP, which is fine, but the next WR goes straight into WP. There's no closing WA, w, WR as part of this structure. So that's the first one that I can see, but it's not the first one that I'm going to fix. The first one I'm going to fix is at the end of the list here, the most inner, or the innermost XML that is broken, and that's MC fallback. So let's go ahead and fix that. Then I can see that MC alternate content is also broken. And finally, in this structure, the WR. OK, we'll move on to the next error. And we can see a pretty similar structure here, similar problem. Word has gotten confused and it hasn't closed off this structure. We can use the magic of IntelliSense to speed things up. And <clears throat> the error list is now clear. We've cleared out all of those errors, so we save that. And then we can move on to the next step. come back into the root of this folder, we select all of those folders, we right click, zip, uh, 
So we can now take that zip file, rename it back to a docx. We open it and lo and behold, we get another error. So the data is invalid according to the schema. So almost there. This time we want to use the magic fix option. And there we go. The document has been recovered. Hold well on.